Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, we have this question that we get all the time, and we got it yesterday again, is, you know, why is it that uh, Google Chrome has so many security flaws and um, so many updates? And it uh, has to do with the fact that, um, you know, the more popular a software is, the more chances people will want to find security holes. It goes one with popularity. So Chrome is a dominant um, platform for the web browsing. And what happens is the Chromium base on which it is constructed will have security flaws. And because it's such a used software, because there's so many people using it, there will be more attention driven to that software to try to find security flaws. So there's you know, tons of people, both the good guys, the bad guys also, and what they do is they, of course, constantly search with different tools for the flaws that could be in it. And, I mean, every software has security flaws. There is no perfect software. The question is, is who's going to find the flaws first, the hackers or the good guys? In the case of the update that was the latest update released yesterday, May 13th, well, the bad guys got it first. So they said, hey, it's a zero day. It's somebody. We know it's already exploited. And often what happens when something gets exploited, there's often a uh, wave of uh, people knowing about it very quickly. Uh, some, actually, some good hackers will be in the bad hackers' Uh, fields and look at what's happening so they can get the latest news on what is the new security flaws and what is the new threat out there. So it's normal that uh, a Google Chrome and like Windows and Mac and Linux, uh, they all have security updates constantly. Uh, it is part of, you know, software made by humans, which means not perfect. There's a lot of code in here, and it's difficult sometimes. Sometimes the code isn't flawed, but what happens is you add a layer, you add something, and when that is added, that's when the flaw exists. So sometimes it's just not there. Some of the flaws also discovered could sometimes be flaws that have been there for years before somebody discovered it. But uh, it is part of you know creating different software, creating code, uh, there will always be some flaws in the code. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.